We're driving this customer's truck, and one of his concerns is when he comes to a stop, he feels like the brake is kicking back on him or it doesn't really want to stop good. It typically only happens at low speeds, kind of parking lot speeds. Generally, the case in these situations is an analog brake problem, even though the analog light doesn't come on. If you happen to have a loose wheel bearing, this can also cause this problem. Today we've already looked at this truck, we know that the wheel bearings are tight. The problem that we're going to have is with the analog sensor. The sensor itself is probably okay, but we're going to have some buildup underneath the sensor that leads into the wheel bearing. And when that sensor has build up underneath, or the rust build up underneath on the wheel bearing, that sensor is going to lift up away from that tone wheel. When it comes off that tone wheel like that, there's going to be a different air gap between the sensor and the reluctor wheel. That's what's giving us our fit. If you're looking to do this repair on your own truck, we do have these sensors on our website. They're just a click away. We can ship right to you. To start, we'll remove the brake caliper and mount. Use a bungee to hold the caliper up out of the way. Remove the brake rotor and now we can access the speed sensor. Using a 5mm Allen socket, remove the bolt and wiggle the sensor loose. It's probably going to be tight in there. It comes straight up. It's common for the sensor to break during removal. If you can see the copper on the end, it's broke off. Just be sure to remove the broken bit of the sensor down in the wheel hub. The actual problem that we're having is this rust buildup right around in here. As this rust buildup occurs, it lifts the sensor away from the tone ring down inside of there, changing the air gap, which is what's giving us our problem. What we will do is just remove all this rust buildup around here. We're going to use a small amount of grease inside the hole to keep most of the debris out of the hub while we're working. Use a file to remove any rust down to solid metal. Clean out the grease from the hole. A small wire brush on a drill makes cleaning the hole out easier. A bit of grease helps hold any dirt removed. Blast of brake clean to flush the hole and we're done. With the new sensor, put a small amount of grease on the seal and at the flange. Reinstall the bolt and reassemble. If you enjoy our content, take a minute and subscribe, hit the like button, and comment in the video section on what you'd like to see more of. We're going to try and do these on a weekly basis. I think the biggest problem we have is me. You can't just turn this on.